I am so excited today that Harry Stinson, a real estate legend, is here in our studio today. Harry, welcome to Condo Show. Thank you. Harry, before we get into uh, our topic of the day, which is which is investment real estate, I want to I want our viewers to know a little bit about your incredible investment track record, your business track record. You started at a really early age in Toronto, and tell us about the first business, which I believe is a restaurant business. It was the first, I guess, health food restaurant. It was the only restaurant in the country that I know of that was non-smoking. Isn't that amazing? So at the time, it was kind of a strange idea, kind of like, why would you create a restaurant for non-smokers? But today, we couldn't even imagine going the other way. Isn't it amazing how, how times have changed? Well, it goes to what we're talking about today, is find a need and fill it. Exactly, exactly. And the next success you had, tell us about the other business, because I think this is amazing. And I still hear stories to this day about it. So it's people awesome. survived, yes, people survived the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. It was a kid's birthday party restaurant. And the niche there was kid's birthday parties. We did not allow parents inside, yeah, but it was an exhausting business. I I'm sure, <laughs> I, I can imagine. <laughs> could only handle it so long. I can imagine. So from there, next business was real estate. Talk us about how you started in real estate and, and, and how you progressed into condominiums. People were wanting the downtown condo lifestyle, and you know, movies like Flashdance and Ghosts were out there with these fancy lofts and such, and I couldn't find them. And so I, I managed to uh, secure the building at 993 Queen West, which is the candy factory. In the 80s, I went to your model suites and I saw them, and they were spectacular. There's nothing like it. Well, I remember how, how the, I remember the hallways. How the you, hallway. you, could, you could ride your bikes down the hallways. Yeah, we lived so our salespeople were on rollerblades. The ceiling height. I mean, it was there was nothing like that ever in Toronto, and it you really new created new. a whole new niche, which has become huge. And, and your and your project really was the catalyst for all that. And again, we could talk for hours about your different, but I just want to highlight, I want our viewers to understand a bit of, 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 of the visionary things that you've done. So the next project that I recall was, I remember getting invited to the Pantages Theater. And what an incredible venue for a real estate presentation. And it was probably the most remarkable project in the history of the city. You took a 29 foot lot and you built one of the tallest towers ever. So please tell us about that, because I think that was just an amazing, well, amazing venture. One King West uh, really was started as five King West. I had bought a little sliver of land, uh, 29 feet wide, as you say. It was formerly the Nags Head Tavern. So I went and found an, an engineer, Roly Bergman, and so I said, Roly, you know, I got this piece of land. It's a bit improbable, and everybody says this thing can't be built. And, you know, Roly was your classic 80-year-old German engineer. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, and he made it happen. He made it possible structurally to build it. So we we applied. And it's still world record from what I understand here. Tell, tell it's us about that. It's the slenderest uh, ratio of base to height. So it's not the tallest by any means downtown Toronto. It's dwarfed by many buildings. So let's jump forward. So you saw the prices in Toronto kind of get out of control and then you just, well, I don't want to say you discovered Hamilton, but you really did one of the first most interesting projects that we'd ever see in Hamilton. The school board was closing a school called the Stinson School on a street called Stinson Street in a neighborhood called the Stinson Neighborhood. I thought, that, come on, you're just pulling my <laughs> leg on this one. I said, no, seriously. So I ended up buying the school. Wow. So the Stinson School became a loft project. Far more comfortable and warm than a giant warehouse and a lot easier to lay out in suites. For $2.99, we have a loft with 13-foot ceilings and, and, wow. and wood floors and huge space. And today, if you ask someone, they'd much rather live in a cool, funky loft than just another traditional condo. Sure. So you've always been that contrarian, always been ahead of the curve, and I think you've done it again in Hamilton. So today I want to talk about what's the next big investment opportunity. Somebody has been following your career over the years and they want to make money um, and they want you to take the risk and, and you to, to be the pioneer, but they want to, they want to ride with you. Um, what is the big investment that, uh, that you're on to next? We want to hear about your, your next big thing. Well, the next big thing, actually, it's the first time in, in, in my entire career that I've actually done something that's reasonably similar to something else, which is the Gibson School. So I found another school. So we're actually finally, you know, repeating something. But what we are repeating differently is the pricing on it. So we start at 99000 Wow. And that's not for the parking space. So $99,000. $99, no, they're not all 99, but yeah. your price yes. point goes from 99 to 290, so 100 to 300. Wow. And the 300 is on the penthouse level. Wow, penthouse for $300,000. With a little terrace and a that's really nice view and so on. And the hallways, 
in the hallways of the school, this is a classic old school. The hallways are 14 feet wide and 13 feet high. They're like streets. They're like the candy factory yeah, hallways. They're amazing. For an investment, Gibson is going to be a home run because it is on a street that will take off as a commercial street again. So you will see $100,000 become $200,000. Oh, so these are positive cash flow. Absolutely. Harry, you've got one more innovation for us for this project. You found a way for Canadians to tap into the billions and billions of dollars we have in RSPs. Well, it's actually not just the RSP element. That is the, that's what really gets people's, oh, wow, yes. you use my RSP? Yes. If you're buying it as investment, we've added a little bit of icing, a lot of icing to this cake. We'll buy it back from you. We will give you a guaranteed profit. Wow. So you're really a guaranteed buyback. So, guaranteed buyback. So when I purchase, I know I've got an exit strategy. You've got, you buy from me for 100000 say. I buy it back from you for 120, 130. The, pri the profit we guarantee you is, is actually tied into the amount you invest. Wow. So you're actually tied into the project itself. I control this market. I'm going to ease those prices up. People will gladly pay one fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. No question. In the future. No question. So here, I know our time is limited. For those that want to get more information, they can go to the website condoshow.com. They can call us at 647-348-8690. Put that on our screen. And we're going to be doing an upcoming seminar, an upcoming webinar. And I just want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.